So how can you manifest the perfect relationship? Is the perfect relationship even possible? Lots of things to dive into here. Before we start, make sure you watch till the very end because I'm gonna explain at the very end kind of what you should not do if you want to manifest a perfect relationship and a twin flame connection. So because you're dealing with two people, obviously um, what's very likely to happen is that one or both of you are gonna change. So any relationship that's gonna be deemed or described as perfect, you need to be accounting for that change. You need to bear in mind that it's very likely or almost 100% likely that one or both of you will change for the better or for the worse. It really depends on kind of the projection of your life and where you're going. The reason this is quite difficult is because it makes it hard to know whether when one or, one or both of you do change, whether that's you growing apart or whether that's you weren't compatible to begin with or whether you should be changing with them or in a different way. It's kind of hard to know, right? And that's where that's where things get confusing. But in this video, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of break down how to manifest a perfect relationship and how to deal with these changes and do it in a way that's actually really simple and easy to follow. You don't you won't be confused. You won't be kind of like wondering what's going on. Does that make sense? I don't know, comment if that makes sense. So basically a perfect relationship in obviously in my opinion and the opinion of many other people is one where you both listen to each other and you have that mutual respect and communication that's really important and it's important to get that right early on because otherwise when things you know when time goes on and maybe you have more commitments to them or there's more stuff going on without that communication and that mutual respect it's gonna be very difficult to actually progress and grow together so again the really important things here is you have to have mutual respect you have to listen to each other care about what the other person is saying thinking and feeling and support each other on that but at the same time and this is where things can get a bit tricky you need to have that independence and that separation and time apart so that you can actually grow individually as well as as a couple mutually this is really important and it's very easy to go one extreme or the other where you spend all of your time together and you don't really grow independently or whether you spend all your time apart and you don't really grow as a couple the two extremes are where the problems happen if you merge them together and kind of have a comp not a compromise but like a mixture of the two then that's when you're going to start manifesting and creating the perfect relationship is going to feel really good it's going to be easy to grow and it's going to kind of feel effortless when it's done right by the way the focus of this video is just on relationships in general this does apply of, co of course to twin flame connections as well but it's really just to explain more about how relationships and mutual communication works in a two-person relationship okay so how can you actually so we've talked about what's important and like kind of how it's going to work the framework for what's important mutual respect communication helping each other but also having that you know important time apart but how can you actually manifest and create the perfect relationship well you might be surprised to hear that it's actually kind of the same as how the way you would manifest something for yourself as well so how do you manifest something for yourself well firstly you decide what you want to manifest that's really important you decide what you actually want you know do you want a relationship with commitments and compromise and mutual communication and respect or maybe do you want just like a friend or a like a travel partner for example or something like that you really need to decide and be very clear about what you actually want and you know what that looks like for you you need to define it so that's the first step decide what you actually want and let's say if you decided that you want a relationship where you spend a lot of time together or, or not you know and you have this mutual communication and that's then that's what you want to manifest so that's the first step the second step is to visualize and imagine that and visualize specifically how it would feel what you would you know be thinking and doing and just visualize and imagine how it would be and then the next step and i would say this is the most important especially for twin flames but really for anybody is you then need to in a way detach from that so you've, if you've decided what you want you focused on it you visualized it you then also need to detach from that and put the focus back on yourself focus on you as a person because everything comes from you, essentially. And everything you manifest and experience comes first from you. You had to first have a thought or an intention, you, or you had to do something or say something, think a certain way, before these things actually become real in physical reality. So this, and it's the same thing for relationships. First, you need to work on yourself. And this is why I constantly talk about this, you know, on this channel, on my other channels, like Ast Astral HQ and all of my channels, really. Uh, I fo put the focus back on you and on the things you can actually control because that way you, <laughs> there's almost no excuse, you know. Um, when you do these things, you will manifest the things you want, whether that's a relationship, abundance, different experiences, different mindset, feelings, emotions. You will experience those when you put the focus back on yourself. So what do I mean by that? I mean focusing on things like self-love, accepting yourself for who you are and actually like enjoying and loving the person you are and the body you're in. And you know, a lot of people don't do that. They actually subconsciously or consciously don't enjoy their lives and they don't like the, the body they are and the, and the people they are. And it's very hard to manifest something when you don't even like 
the shell that you're inhabiting, you know? That's like the foundation step. You need to love your yourself and your life before you can then start to change that. And this is really important. The next step is just to work almost obsessively on your personal growth and your spiritual development. Try and think of it like, I like to think of it sometimes a bit like a video game. So in a video game, what you do is you kind of try and progress through the levels, you try and achieve different things, uh, you try and kind of improve your character in various different ways. Now, it's very important that you don't get this mixed up with egotistical development and focusing too much on the physical side of things. I like to think of it like this body is an avatar, this is a shell, basically. And in order for me to do my mission and do the things I wanna do, this body, this shell, including my mind, needs to be operating at 100% capacity. It needs to be basically working properly. You know, I need to have energy, I need to be sleeping well, I need to be positive, motivated, able to focus and channel my, my attention into one thing. These are really important skills, in my opinion. So that is very different from uh, an egotistical approach where instead you try and focus on uh, the pursuit of like money, material objects, big houses, supercars, and even to a certain degree, luxury experiences. That stuff is kind of, it can be fun, but that's, in my opinion, not where you should focus. Your focus should be on improving your body and mind as a tool and then using that to actually live a life you want to live you know have the experiences you want to have be the person you want to be and actually make the difference that you want and this is where your mission and purpose comes into it and by the way there's loads of ways you can do this i like to use stuff like biohacking things like uh, personal growth concepts psychological principles things that have a lot of research behind them that are highly likely to work and actually help you improve yourself. And you know, I go into this on my other on other videos and things like that, but that's just really like the first thing you should be doing is focusing on improving yourself, trying to, you know, sleep well, be exercising, do the things you love doing, eat healthily, go outside in the sun, like, you know, all the basic stuff that we really know we should be doing but it's easy to forget about it. So, and then when you do that, you become more efficient, you have more energy, you can then start to look at doing more of the things you love. You'll form a clearer picture of what you actually want in your life. And then the things that don't serve you will kind of fall away. And this really becomes like a domino effect where these things just, one thing leads to another, okay? Now, how does that relate to a relationship? When you do that stuff, it's almost, think of it like a river. When you go down that river, right? and you do all these things, you improve yourself, you research, learn, go down different rabbit holes, and you build up these disciplines and these habits and you meditate, all of this stuff is a journey. When you go down that path, it will lead you to people who are also going down that journey. And because they're also going down the same path as you, it's highly likely that you'll be very compatible. Okay, so, and, this is, and this is why it's so important to do this first, because if you don't do this first, and instead you just find a partner, like a relationship, at the level you're currently at, then what's gonna happen is later on, when you try and improve yourself or when you try and you know grow spiritually and personally and develop and whatever, it, you're gonna grow apart from your partner unless they're doing the same thing. So what happens is most people will get into a relationship based on their current comfort zone. And this could be people you work with, friends, whatever, people you went to university with or, or whatever the case is. And because that's you, you're doing that in your current comfort zone, it means when one of you changes and goes outside of that comfort zone, suddenly, you're not compatible anymore and it doesn't work. So that's why, in my opinion, the first step is to decide what sort of person you wanna be and where, which path you wanna go down in life. Get moving on that path and then somewhere along the way you will manifest the, a partner who is also on that same path. And then when you do that, it becomes really quite magical because you're both trying to do the same things. So you help each other. Instead of one partner trying to grow all the way up here, the other partner just wants to stay on this level and then it causes friction and eventually you'll, it probably won't work. You know, it's highly unlikely that it will work in that case. So I hope that makes sense. I mean, that's, in my opinion, that's the best way is, you know, get on the path that you want to be moving down and then somewhere along the way, you will manifest and create the perfect relationship because they'll, they'll also be on that same path. Now, if you want to go into more detail, you know, we do have a video about how to raise your vibrations and end the separation stage. And, and ultimately, that'll help you to manifest the perfect relationship. Uh, the link's in the description. Check it out. Look at my other videos um, and leave a comment letting me know what you think.